that is. I snagged one of those um, league battle decks when you with the with the rushes ards. You get the the two uh, the two rushes ards from Unbroken Bonds, and then the promo one or something like that. It's sweet. Nice. It figures in a full art Charizard. I, I, I got one of these. I'm sure a lot of people do. Ugh. Let's move. We'll get these sleeved up in a little bit. One of these. I really, really, really like that Charizard and Breaks, and that's a freaking sweet card. Yeah, for sure. I'm I'm keeping this one sealed. Hundred percent keeping this sealed. That's not gonna get opened up. I thought about opening, grabbing one to open, but I mean, it, it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm a, I'm big into keeping at least, you know, one I like trainer boxes personally just because they they're a little bit ch on the cheaper, you know, uh less expensive side than than buying a whole booster box. You kind of get like, you know, some dice, you get the energy, you get the booklet with it. It's just a nice presentable package that I think is going to look well keeping sealed. So I do like to keep um one elite trainer box from most sets. I'm missing a couple that I I wasn't I wasn't keeping sealed. I wish I would have. I don't like. I don't have any. Um, I don't have unified minds sealed. I don't have. I don't have unbroken bonds or cosmic eclipse. I would have liked to have some of that stuff sealed up, but it is what it is. And usually I look better. At, like haircut places here just opened back up, so. I usually don't. I usually don't look like a like this much of a bum, guys. I promise. Yeah, exactly. They're they're decorative. They look good to keep sealed. I mean, you guys can kind of see over here. Look, that's a stack of that's a stack of them that I have sealed up. Um, most of a lot of those are going to get opened up. Like the Rebel Clashes, they're going to be opened up. But I mean, it's still cool. It's I, I think sealed product is just as cool to keep sealed as opening a, a good card because you never really know what you're going to open up. Um, so it's kind of like in your mind. You know, it's like having a, a base set heavy pack. You know, it's like, do you really want to open it just to pull, you know, I don't know, just like a, a regular hollow or do you want to hold on to it and, and think to yourself, this, is, this one has the Zard. This has the Zard, but I'm not going to open it. Um, I probably should buy them in cases at this point. I know that would be more economical, but no, at this point I do just um, I do just buy them single, you know, singles basically. Uh, or I, or I order them, you know, just you guys know all the all the places at this point. I'm sure. Vintage Risk Reward doesn't really make sense to open. No, it, it really doesn't. It really doesn't. You're better off keeping that stuff sealed. Thank you for the follow, Power Elias. I appreciate that, my friend. Some people doing breaks on base set packs of 150 plus and then pull like a computer search. Thank you, Red Flames. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You know, you get like uh, um, a bill, or you know, it's and you're like, ah, just burned 150 bucks. Yikes, yeah, I'm thankful enough to have a place near me that sells them super cheap. Other than that, cases... Yeah, cases are definitely the way to go. I might... I might pull the trigger on a case of um, Darkness of Blaze booster boxes. Like, actual booster boxes, not just the ETBs. Um, uh, Darium's, Darium's selling them, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I already ordered two, uh, two of the Elite Trainer... Or two booster boxes of darkness ablaze i think that's going to be a six set thank you uh thank you squid squad a squid squad appreciate you 
Um, I have a computer search in real life, but sadly, it's not in the best condition. Yeah, what's up, Ketchum Alley? Guys, go follow Ketchum Alley on YouTube also. She does awesome videos. But yeah, I switched over to stream, or to Twitch. I do both. I, I still do both, but it's like Burning Shadows without the big chase card. Yeah, basically, pretty much. Um, so, my girlfriend actually brought over her uh, her brother's old collection of cards because they didn't really know what was in them. And for the most part, it's it's kind of a bunch of junk. But what what do you guys think of this? That. That is exactly what you think it is. That is a first edition Red Cheeks Pikachu. He had this chillin' in his uh, in his binder, and I was like, "Whoa, you got a Red Cheeks!" There you go. You can see it a little bit better. Yeah, she had a little, a little couple, couple decent cards in that binder. That was probably the coolest find. So, as far as, like, TCG goes, I don't know. I don't, I don't play competitively. I don't have any decks. I don't play online or anything like that. That's why I give away the code cards. Um, yeah, that's, I really don't, I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of knowledge on the, on the card game itself. I, I'm, I do Pokemon for collecting, mostly. It's just, I mean, nostalgic, and it's cool, and I do, and I think... I think it can be a good investment um, if you if you play your cards right. I don't know if I am or not, but I got a pretty pretty solid collection building back up. Thank you for the follow, Ketchum Alley. Guys, go follow her on YouTube. Make sure we gotta support each other. Yeah, well, I wish I had better openings for you guys tonight. Last night, I was, I was cranking out the rainbow rares and stuff like that. Here's some more codes for you guys. Who wants codes? Codes, codes, codes. Got a whole stack of them here. Hopefully someone's getting these. I'm sure you are. What's your favorite deck power, Elias GW? What's your favorite? Um, I don't really have a schedule. I just kind of am doing it whenever I feel like it, I guess. Normal and water. Nice. Yeah, Allie, I don't really have much of a schedule, so, I mean, if, you, if you're able to make it, I appreciate it. If not, hey, I'll, you know, catch, catch me on the next one. It's no worries. Yeah, exactly. You'll get notifications and stuff like that. Um, I'm not. I'm not cool, and I, I don't multi-stream. I haven't. I haven't gotten any software for that yet. And YouTube does. YouTube doesn't like me for some reason. Whenever I try and, whenever I try and stream on YouTube, that it really doesn't like me. I don't know what that's about. How many cards do you have? It doesn't seem to be the total number. Just, um. Well, actually, that's funny. I've been I've been counting them out because I'm I'm considering selling bulk off. But I'd, like, part of me wants to sell bulk, but the other part of me is I'm going through everything and I'm like, ah, I don't really want to get rid of these. But uh, probably, um, easily fifteen thousand. I would say I probably I I maybe I might be pushing twenty thousand cards total. And what do I think of Yu-Gi-Oh? Um, it's probably you know, one of the top three card games to collect. 
Um, I don't know a lot about Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm sure the market is still pretty big for it. I played it when I was a kid, and I've seen the first few seasons of it. Uh, I like it, though. I, I know more about Yu-Gi-Oh than I do Magic the Gathering. I know that. Yeah, I would, I'd say I'm probably pushing 20,000 cards. Well, yeah, that's what I mean, is I would I would trade it for, you know, in-store credit with Darium. But, you know, I was going through and I'm like, okay, well, I'm definitely not going to sell any anything out of Hidden Fates. Um... I'm down to my last. I'm down to my last Crimson Invasion box. I'm, I'll pick up another one here, pretty soon. Oh, screw it. Let's open it. I'll find another one. Those are easy to find. Yeah, I'd either want the secret or the secret rare water, or the secret rare Gyarados. Yeah, I I. If you guys go on my channel, I have a whole Hidden Fates um, playlist, and there was t there like I have one where I opened up a, like a quote unquote booster box, and it was like it was like two elite trainer boxes, and um, I mean I don't know, forget my math here, but it was like two trainer boxes and like three tins or something like that. And I looked back and I was like, dude, I literally that was, that's like a five hundred dollar video today, like. Yeah, Crimson Invasion is almost almost has similar pull rates to uh, Burning Shadows. From my understanding, they get pretty. Let's see here: 111, 147, 111. Okay. Try and keep my cards organized a little bit to save me for tomorrow. Dude, I tried, man. I tried. I looked at my Walmart. My Walmart never has anything in the Pokemon section. It's either somebody just raids it. What type? Um, either fire or fighting. That's probably my favorite. But yeah, if I would have if I would have gone to Walmart and they would have had Hidden Fates, yeah, I would have bought probably everything that they had. No. Yo! 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 We did it! Oh! Yo! Let's go! Dude, Secret Rare Gary! What? Dude! Sorry for the noise. Yo, first pack magic! Yo, thank you for telling me to open up this box. Yo! Dude, that is wild! No way! Oh! Dude, what? Yo, the night has been made. That, that just made... I'm over here talking mad smack about this set. And then, boom, there he is. Dude, I've been wanting that card for so long. New good noodle, shout out good noodle. Dude. Dude. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Well, let's see if there's going to be anything What is happening? <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll sleep it right now. Dude, back-to-back -back Garys. Whoa, oh, let's go. <laughs> what are the odds of that? Pop you in there. 